Yeah, if you go for around two to three hours without any protein, your body instantly switches into a catabolic state and you'll just rapidly start losing muscle from that point forward. That was pretty much standard bodybuilding advice back in the early 2000s when I was newer to lifting. And unfortunately, it pretty much ruled my day-to-day -day schedule all throughout high school. This is so stupid, but I actually remember going to a party one time and keeping a Ziploc bag filled with protein powder in my back pocket. And as soon as that three hour mark hit and all my gains were about to melt away, I snuck off into the bathroom and literally stood there like an idiot eating the powder out of the bag with my bare hands. This is also back when supplement flavoring technology isn't quite what it is today. And I can distinctly remember gagging and almost throwing up trying to shovel this crap down my throat. Now it's not that protein frequency doesn't matter, but beyond a certain point, it's gonna have pretty sharp diminishing returns. The most important thing by far is just making sure that you get enough total protein for the day as a whole. And then if maximizing muscle growth is your goal, breaking that up into at least three separate feedings should pretty much get you there. A fourth or fifth feeding might technically be optimal, but the difference is probably gonna be pretty marginal at best. And I really wish I knew this back in high school because it would have made my social life a hell of a lot easier. 